in the last class we discussed the decoder without enable input and also we have discussed some of the problems related to the active high decoder and the active low decoder today we will discuss the decoder with enable input the whatever we discussed previously that is without enable input so today whatever we are discussing is the decoder with enable input so now decoder with enable input means for example if i consider a 2 is to 4 decoder so this is my 2 is to 4 decoder it had two inputs one is x0 and another one is x1 and the four output if i consider an active high decoder so this is an active active high decoder active high decoder so it had y0 y1 y2 and the y3 are the output along with that additionally i am providing one more input is called enable so with respect to that we will construct a truth table so according to the truth table it had enable is the input x1 x0 then y0 y1 y2 and the y3 so in this case these three are the inputs and these four are the output if i say my enable is zero my enable is zero that time when enable is zero it won't respect the input then output never cares about the input so that time the whatever it may be the input output doesn't cares and here y not y1 y2 and y3 everything is zero and input is not at all caring so that time if the enable is zero there is no respect for x0 and x1 if there is enable is 1 if the enable is 1 then only respect goes to x1 and x0 so that time if the x1 and x0 is 0 0 that time y0 output is 1 and remaining all are 0 0 similarly for rest of the condition i will make enable equal to 1 and I will keep on changing x1 and x0 because the x1 and x0 have respect only if enable equal to 1 means my decoder is right now is active that time next 0 1 then this is 0 only this is 1 and these two are 0 now I am selecting the third pin so then this is 0 this is 0 only y2 is 1 at the end enable is 1 1 1 0 0 0 1 for this we need to write the equation so now my area of interest is only whichever the output is one only that has to be considered for my final equation so in this case i will take y naught is equal to y naught is one here so at this point of time i am getting e x1 bar x naught bar similarly for y1 again in this also e x1 bar x0 similarly for the y2 case y2 case e x1 x0 bar similarly for the last case e x1 and the x0 this is the equation for this equation we need to construct a logic diagram seeing this each and every case enable is associated now if i want to write an equation so now i need to write x0 x1 i will take in this side and the complement of it and here i will take x0 and its complement with respect to that now i will construct an output four and gates are required one two three and the four so this is y naught y1 y2 and the y3 now for y naught for y1 y2 and y3 all the cases e is common this e input is connected to each and every terminal so what i will do so first i will complete this connection this e is common to this e is common to this e is common to this 
and this E is common to this. This is my enable input. This enable is connected to each and every input of the AND gate. Now I will make the actual connection X0 bar, X1 bar and the X0 bar. Next is X1 bar X0, X0, X1 bar. Similarly this is X1, X0 bar, X0 bar, X1. Again the last case, E is already connected, only X1, X0, X0 and the X1. This is the logic diagram for active high decoder with enable input. So now similarly, we need to discuss active low decoder with enable input. Now we will discuss active low decoder with enable input. Similarly in this case we have 2 is to 4 active low decoder and there were 4 output y not y1, y2 and y3. What kind of decoder it is? It is an active low decoder. See we need to put a bubble at the output stage. So in this case this is my x0, x1 and one more terminal we need that is enable. Again that enable also active low enable. Now for that block diagram we need to construct a truth table. In this truth table, we need to write x0, we need enable x1 and the x0 and we need y0, y1, y2 and y3 and these three are the inputs and these four are the outputs. In this case, as I said earlier, if the enable is 1, if the enable is 1, this decoder is in deactive state, not in active state, deactive state. Why? Because enable is active low. If I provide 1, that time it won't respect this x1 and x0 input and the output is all are in high state. This is why because it is an active low decoder. Similarly, if the enable is zero, that time this decoder get activates, then it will give the respect to the input. If it is zero, zero, then the Y naught is zero and all remaining all are one, one. Similarly, next same enable equal to zero active state. The input is zero, one, then the Y one is one, sorry, Y one is zero, and rest all are in high state. Similarly, enable is 0. Now I will select 1, 0. So that time y2 is 1, y2 is 0, remaining all are in high state. Similarly, for the last case, for the 1, 1 condition, all are 1, 1 except y3, y3 is in 0. So now in this case, active load decoder, the, we are focusing on pause term. So then the, or the min max term, so the area of interest is only the whichever the output is having 0. Correct? But now I will write the swap equation for that. Y0 is equal to, so this become E bar, X1 bar, X0 bar, Y1 is equal to E bar, X1 bar, X0 y2 is equal to e bar x1 x0 bar y3 is equal to e bar x1 and the x0. Now we need to construct a logic diagram for the same. So in that case again I will take 
x1 and its complement similarly here i will take x0 and its complement i need four nand gates we know that why we are selecting nand gate in case of active low decoder now i will make the connection first we need to see this in this case which is the common factor in this case the common factor is enable bar so for that i will connect the enable bar so in this case it will get connected with each and every gate so through the not gate enable get connected through the not gate here i am getting e bar that finally i am getting here e so now i will connect the each and every term so here i will take x1 bar x0 bar so this is x1 bar output of this and the x0 bar x0 bar and the x1 bar the next is x0 x1 bar in this case x0 bar x1 similarly the next one is x1 x0 x0 and the x1 so this is my y0 output so what i am getting according to this so i am getting e x1 bar x0 bar whole bar finally i am getting e bar plus x1 plus x0 correct this is actually an a pass form this is actually a pass form correct no active no decoder is holds good to generate the max term or the pass equation that is e bar plus x1 and x0 first for example if you take this in this case in in case of the uh, the swap term generation so this is actually uh, we got e x1 bar x0 bar isn't it this is just ulta of in case of active low decoder active i decoder e x1 bar x0 bar but in case of active low decoder that is e bar plus x1 bar x1 plus instead of into that become or the in here nand there or here and operation there is an add add operation this is x0 bar that is only the x0 similarly we need to take y1 is equal to that is x1 bar x0 this become e bar plus whole bar that become e bar plus x1 plus x0 bar just complement of active low high decoder in case of active low decoder we need to represent everything in pass form why because our area of interest is only the zeros then y2 is equal to e x1 x0 bar that is x0 bar whole bar then this is e bar plus x1 bar plus x0 at the end y3 is equal to e x1 x0 whole bar this become e bar plus x1 bar plus x0 bar this is how we can possible to design an active high decoder with enable input and one more is active low decoder with enable input